come back. Well, Tony, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Look at the place. It's like a tip. Hope the wife doesn't come back. That could be a bit of a problem. Well, basically, you've seen these before, haven't you? Fishman pickups. Well, these are Fishman Fluence pickups. Yeah. And I've had them before, and I, I put them on a Strat. And they call them single width pickups. They don't call them single coils, because, well, there is no coil. If you've never seen these pickups before, well, this could be a very interesting video. I'm already part way through doing it, but don't worry about that. It's not a video about teaching you how to do it. It's a video about watching me do a, a little bit and then listening to the results. And I think you'll be very surprised. Now, as you'll see, along the way, I took out all the controls. I took out the input socket. I took out the switch. It's off a Les Paul. Well, a Les Paul compatible. We'll call it that. It's a Tokai. Yeah, so I did all that. I took the pickups themselves out, of course, fitted the new ones, found that some of the wiring wasn't right, and I had to buy some wire and things like that. And that's about where we're at at the moment. But, of course, there's an inherent problem with Fishman Fluence pickups, and that is, well, you need a battery, don't you? They don't work without a battery. Now, you can put a, one of them square batteries inside. Of course you can do that. But I didn't want to do that, because I think that that's a bit of a bodge, if you want the truth. So what I decided to do was to buy a back plate that fits in there. Well, the truth is, it doesn't quite fit. Yeah, this is not a real Gibson. As I said, it's a Tokai. It's not quite the same. But I can make it fit. That's all that matters. And here it is, a rechargeable 9 volt battery pack. Replaces back plate on most Les Pauls. I've got the one that it doesn't. <laughs> you could have the same thing if you try hard. Anyway, there it is. It says charger former EU because I had to buy it from Germany because I was struggling to find one in England. It seems that this particular uh, battery from Fishman is pretty rare. Not a very common device anymore to find. The pickups are not too bad, but this back plate, wow. Oh. I don't know what they're playing up. And by the way, I took out some perfectly good Seymour Duncan pickups. There's nothing wrong with them, but I know how these other ones sound. And that was part of the reason of being driven to take a closer look. And you should too. Oh my God, what's he doing? <laughs> yeah, I pulled the whole thing out. I don't care, do you? And one of the great things about Fishman Pickups, and Fishman uh, as a company, they do actually give you a very good diagram to work to. You can see that. I'm not going to go in great depth, but there it is. I'll show you quickly the front of the guitar, so you get some idea of where we're at. I think it's, uh, I replaced the surrounds with these rosewood surrounds, because I think it looks pretty good. And I changed the knobs, because they were falling apart and cracking off, as they do. And uh, once I've done this bit of wiring at the back, it's all going to be good. So what I'm going to do, rather than spending time here with you, I'm just going to go and do it and get the job finished. And then you can uh, have a look and we'll uh, be outside where you can hear these darn things. Okay, well, here we are. Pickups fitted, pile of bits all over the place, bit of a mess, which I've got to clean up later because the wife will be on, and uh, yeah, it's all good. I've got some strings fitted, Paradigm strings, you can see them here, Ernie Ball 1962 it says, so the strings aren't 1962, 9 to 42s, and supposed to last 50,000 million gazillion times longer than the regular ones. Will they? Will they sound different? Who knows? You'll find out later. Okay, well, I've got a whole box of bits here. As you can see, you might get a picture on the screen of some of this stuff as I'm talking about it, but there's plenty to go up there. I've got some pickups over. I've got a back plate over, more on that later. I've got some other bits and pieces that 
I wish we weren't here, but. And by the way, one of the things I did do was fit four new, four nice new uh, controllers from a guy on eBay who sold me three for five quid, which were genuine, sealed indeed, and I already had one. So I think that was a good deal. I don't know what you think. In any case, there they are fitted. Well, I say it's simple. No, I, I wouldn't. If you don't have uh, much experience with soldering and working in tight places, which that is in there, I don't recommend you do it. Uh, but if you, if you can solder and all that sort of stuff, then you'll be fine. And remember, I had to change this uh, because the one that was fitted was sort of incompatible somehow. And I had to redrum the wire and all that sort of thing. In any case, there's the guitar with the pickups fitted and round the back we have the battery now as you can see or you will see on the picture on the screen it's not a proper fit for this guitar this is a Tokai a Japanese Tokai but there's a gap at this side and there's a gap at this side which uh, it doesn't bother me much because the screws do actually fit in the wood but uh, it doesn't look so nice it would have been nicer even if I'd have been able to trim it, which I can't. Maybe that's an idea that they should consider. But the battery can last for up to something like 250 hours of playing. Yeah, as long as you don't leave your guitar plugged in, that is. How would I score it? I don't think I will score it this time. Uh, I'll leave it to you to consider whether these pickups are good or bad from the tones. But what I can tell you is these cost me about £235 basically from Germany to get them to England with all the rest of them messing around. And if I'd have bought them in England they were about £280 which was crazy. And as for the battery on the back I got it for about again £80 from somewhere in Germany and it would have been £130 in England. Ask me why. A greedy uh, Greedy something or others. Okay, so remember it does come with a, a diagram that isn't uh, isn't easy to install, although you've got a diagram, it's still a bit finicky and difficult. So remember I said it before you get anywhere. One last thing and then we're into playing. On this one here, you've got a push pull and it changes the uh, neck pickup from a single coil, seemingly to a humbucker on its end. But on the treble pickup that's not the case. On the treble pickup it's supposed to change the tone, make, get rid of that top end tone. Now whether it does or not is another story or whether I wired it correctly for that is another story but on my little amplifier just uh, behind me uh, I couldn't hear any difference when I pulled that. But to be honest, I couldn't care less personally. If it's there, we'll hear it outside. And if it isn't, well then we won't. That's it. I'm going to get outside, let you see it, see what it's like, uh, do a bit of playing, faffing around. And don't forget to go to uh, www.tellymackenzie.com as well, uh, where uh, there's lots of reviews that are, well, they're different reviews, you know, but they're still reviews, aren't they? Yeah. I have a lot on YouTube, but I have a lot on my website, so don't forget that. If there's any other information, look down in the text. I often forget to mention that. Usually, there's a pile of stuff in the text that uh, might be able to help you with this in some way. Or not, depends whether I find anything. That's it till next time. Get out of here. Now you can listen to how they actually sound in a... Well, I'll call it a Les Paul. It might as well be.
Thank you.